Hi, I'm Charles DeMarco, and welcome back to another edition of Monday Moments. Well, as you can see, I'm standing here in front of our Choose Courage sign because that is our theme for 2022. And when we talk about choosing courage, we're talking about all of those that we serve within our ministry, the courage that they demonstrate and reflect, whether it's in our More to Life student ministry as they make choices for standing against the culture and society norms today, whether it's the individuals we serve in our four medical clinics as they walk through our doors and choose courage every single day, or maybe those that have walked through the pain of an abortion, speaking up, finding that healing, forgiveness, and restoration. And certainly, finally, those that come alongside and pray and support what we do, the courage that's demonstrating standing for life and standing for the sanctity of life. So we invite you to join us this year as we all choose courage. And so if you think about historically, Roe versus Wade, which was passed in 1973, just 12 years later, this ministry was founded. And in fact, really there was one couple that had a burden on their heart to open a pregnancy center right here in the heart of Pinellas County. And from that one couple's burden on their heart, how the Lord led them, that ministry has grown to what it is today to where we have seen over 10,000 babies saved and rescued from abortion. We have seen over 9,000 professions of faith. So when we talk about choosing courage and what a wonderful example we saw from the founders of this ministry. In fact, in just a moment, I have an opportunity to see a little video. And this video is talking about choosing courage and it's getting back to our roots. You're going to see imagery of, of the mid to late 80s of some newspaper clippings where the individuals in a very peaceful way even stood up and were courageous in getting arrested for standing for the sanctity of life as they prayed outside of an abortion clinic. And this is how far we've come today as a ministry and we've grown, but it all started there. In fact, that individual you're going to see on this video, it was her and her husband that had that burden on their heart, heart to open up and start this ministry. And again, choosing courage throughout all of our ministry. So we invite you again in 2022 to choose courage with us, support New Life Solutions, be a part of our activities and events like our annual Walk for Life in May, and certainly be in prayer for what we do each and every day as you come alongside and support our mission of protecting the unborn, sharing the gospel, and transforming our communities one life at a time protect, share, transform. Thank you for choosing courage with us. God bless you and enjoy this video. The world will not recognize life in the womb. In the United States, there are about 1 million abortions a year. He makes babies in his own image. And so one of the things that they're doing is killing off God's image. This is spiritual warfare. If they're going to start putting us in jail for speaking up for life, we need to squeak a little bit more than we're squeaking now. Science, scripture, prove that life begins at conception. Our mission at New Life Solutions is to protect the unborn, share the gospel, and transform our communities one life at a time.